I've been doing a lot of these small projects lately and one big benefit is that they use up a lot of scrap wood. These ones here are longer narrow pieces left over from making bigger projects. So there's quite a mix of different types of wood and I'm going to cut those down to a uniform three quarters of an inch square for the legs and one inch square for the post that goes in the middle. With all that done, I can move on to cutting out the part for what I'm calling the hub. And I'm using inch and a half thick maple for this. And the first cut is at 45 degrees. And here you can see I'm taking the time to admire how nice and clean that cut is, even though it's completely wrong. I got the wrong angle here, so let's try again. And by making that cut, I ruined this piece, so I'll put it back in the scrap wood closet and pull out another one and try again. How about 22 and a half degrees? That's half of 45. And cut it again. Once again, checking the smoothness of the cut. But once again, also, this is wrong. The actual angle that I need here is 30 degrees, so let's do that now. If this doesn't work, I'm giving up on the project altogether. So finally I got it right, and now I can cut the other side. Looking at the hub from above is a hexagon, so I really should have known that these angles were 30 degrees. It's just one of those lapses that happen when you're trying to get stuff done, maybe a little bit too quickly. So I also need a slot in the middle that's an inch wide for the post that's in the middle, slide up and down. And I'll do that by making a series of cuts with the single blade until it's wide enough. And also I made this a little bit deeper because I want to have a steel plate inside rather than just having the screw press against the side of the pole and digging in. Then I can set up a stop block on my miter saw and cut those into four four inch pieces that I'll be able to glue together. But before I do that, I need to drill a hole for the adjustment knob. And I had a couple of salvaged ones that were perfect for this, except that the threading was a little bit too short. So I'll drill a counterbore first and drill a hole through, put in a T-nut, and then I'll have enough of the threading sticking in on the inside. I'm going to jump in here and let you know that my woodworkers toolbox class is my next full tutorial on a maker's mob. Along with the projects from many of YouTube's top makers, you'll also be able to access this project that will cover everything you need to know to make my toolbox your next woodworking success. For the release of this series and for a limited time, you'll get access for 75% off. That's only $4.95 for your first month. Just click the link in the description below and join myself and other makers like Jimmy DeResta, the Samurai Carpenter, Neil Paskin, Frank Howarth, and John Peters inside the Maker's Mob. And then, like I already said, I want a steel plate for this screw to push up against so that it won't dig into the side of the pole. And I'll just cut those out and drill a hole and countersink near the top and drive in a number four screw to keep it in place.
Then I can get the hubs glued together and clamped up. And I let these dry while I worked on the legs. I need to drill a hole in the end so that they'll pivot and also fasten to the hub. I can also get the angled stop blocks cut from three quarter inch plywood. And before I cut these, I actually checked my design to make sure that I had the angle right this time. And as it turns out, it's actually 30 degrees as well. And in the meantime, the glue dried on the hub enough that I can drill the holes for the hanger bolts that I'll drive in for the legs. And then the procedure here is to take one of the legs, put it in place, and take one of the stop blocks with glue on it and hold it up against the leg at the right angle, make sure it's nice and tight, and then drive in some pins to hold in place while the glue dries. With the legs done, I can put the pole in the middle and it needs a hole in the top for another hanger bolt. And I'm going to start drilling that manually, and then I've got a block here to help guide the drill bit so that it'll go in straight. And then I can thread in the hanger bolt and I actually cut these off shorter so that when I thread on the knuckle, it'll come down tight on that nut. And then of course, the last thing to do is to put the light panel in place and try it out. <laughs> 